short tail versus long tail keywords. Short tail keywords are general search queries consisting of one or two words. Long tail keywords, on the other hand, consist of three to five or even more words. An example of a short tail keyword is yoga mat. An example of a long tail keyword is red non slip yoga mat under $30. As you can tell, the short tail keyword is a lot broader and covers way more things. If someone searches on Google for yoga mat, then we actually have no idea what that person is looking for. Are they looking for a red yoga mat? Are they looking for a yoga mat to buy? Are they trying to find out how much yoga mat costs? We literally have no idea as the search intent is not crystal clear. On the other hand, when a person searches for a long tail keyword, such as red non-slip yoga mat under $30, we have no doubt whatsoever what this person wants. They want a red non-slip yoga mat that costs them less than $30. If this person lands on a page on our website, which has red non-slip yoga mats for sale that are priced under $30, then this would be the perfect match for the user. And is likely that will actually generate a sale because of that. As a result, long tail keywords convert much better than short tail keywords. Simply put, long tail keywords are way more targeted and much more specific. Just as a pro tip, long tail keywords are also much more easier to rank for in Google as they typically have less competition than short tail keywords. Do bear in mind that if you do own a yoga website, then you still should be targeting the keyword yoga mats in general anyway. However, that shouldn't be the main effort of your SEO campaign because that keyword is super competitive and it's likely that you'll get stuck on page two or three of Google. When it comes to your SEO campaign, start off targeting long tail keywords and as you build up momentum and authority, branch out and target the more competitive short tail keywords.